Hi, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you see from past few days, okay, like one of the new feature is in call SQL Server procedure directly in the Power FX. Okay? So we are seeing how to call the SQL Store procedure in the Power FX. Okay? So this is the article that is released by Microsoft on 31st July. Okay, you can be see tables in the separate side, store procedure running separate side, okay, and how to perform this action. Okay, we are seeing the power. Okay? This is very powerful. Okay. Previously, if we have to use the Microsoft Power Automate, then we have to call that through the Power Apps. Then we perform the operations to our SQL Server, and then we take the response back in the Power Apps, and then displays to the user. So this all the stuff, okay? That lots of stuff we have to do. But by introducing this feature, okay, we can save our cost, okay? Like a, a, we have to run multiple Power Automate flows. So this will save our cost. In this case, we not have to run multiple Power Automate flows. This is done within the Power Apps, okay? So we are saving cost. Then we are reducing time, okay, and also it is easier to use. So let's see how to use this feature, okay. So before using this, um, I already uploaded one video, okay. Let's like go to my YouTube channel. So you can be see I just few days I go release one video SQL table add edit and delete from Power Apps table. Okay, so we are doing this same video, okay, same operation by using our Power Apps. So let's we go and see what are the prerequisites for this video. Okay. So first and most important is you need a SQL server, okay, for this. You can be go with any one SQL server as your SQL server H or SQL server Optimum. So, but uh, I just going with SQL Server 2022 developer, and this is I'm downloading. Okay? So let's click on download. You will this one one file. Just open that file. You will have a your SQL Server available in your desktop. Then the second prerequisite is to download the SQL Server Manager meant to Studio. Okay, so just you have to go to this site. Okay, learn dot Microsoft dot SQL. Okay, this site I will give you in the description box from there you can be go and copy okay. then we have the third requisite to connect power apps to the sql server we require an compromise data gateway so we also need to download this compromise data gateway so these three prerequisites required okay. so let's like go and open my sql server management studio let's press on windows type in sql server management studio you can be so let's click on the so my SQL Server Management Studio is launching now. Let's cut down and just go to the SQL Server Management Studio. So here you can be see when when you launch the SQL Server, okay. At that time it will use the proper connect to server. Okay? So simply you have to go see the your server name. What is your server name here? Okay? It will your server type database engine authentication windows authentication you can be select okay? and then simply click on the card okay? it will connect you can be see our server is connected now and our database is created so you have to click on your your database click on the use the right click your to your keyboard and just click on the new database okay? so then new database will create you can be see i just create our new database ravindra Dhan. So in that database just go simply and you can be one sim new queue you can be perform some queries okay by using that you can be create a table so let's like go and use this query option to create a table okay i will create this table okay you can just copy from description box from there you just have to press execute okay your table is ready okay? if you not know So here you can be see I just open and chat GPT okay, and let's give a prompt. I okay. already copied the prompt. You can be see hi I want to create an SQL table. Kindly give me proof for creation. Table name of student information, table column, first name, last name, roll number, marks, first name, last name is a text column, mark is a number column, and roll number is a unique column, like auto increment number. So just give me a script inside just send to the chat GPT. <coughs> And let's see, uh, ChatGPT gives us a command, okay, 
to create an sql table let's we copy this okay and also it gives the all the information like it is a table name is student information row number is a auto increment first name is a text okay and everything it is given okay so let's i go to the sql okay and here you can be see we have the new query just click on that just use control v and there is the option is present okay i hope you are able to see for new query for execute okay? just use this two options here okay so let's i click on the execute let's see what is this error okay let's go and test to the chat gpt So here you can be see just we do it chat with it is it giving an updated one. Okay, so let's go and use here. I'm not having too much experience in SQL, so that's why I'm using GPT. Let's click on execute. In this case, it is executed successfully. You can be see. Let's go and uh, search for our data. Okay, just refresh it. Okay, let's refresh one more time. Let's see in the Ravindra. Go to the tables. in the tables you can be see our table is added dob student information okay so let's go and ask chat gpt to add 10 rows of data create script to add 10 rows dummy data in my table Just click on it. So it is given me the script. Okay, let's I copy that and let's uh, go here. Okay, to the new query and just use Control V and click on the execute. Ten rows was affected. Completion time was it is given. So let's see student information. It is top 200 rows. You can be see all 10 rows are present here. Okay. So let's go and ask ChatGPT create store figure or my table to add new row in. Here it is going and creating a store procedure for us. Okay. To add the new record in our data. For store procedure, we get just copying this. Okay. Let's we go in the program list. Okay, here is store procedure option present. Just click new store procedure. It will give this. Okay, okay. just click Control V and execute this. So command completed successfully. Okay, completion time is given here. Okay, and here is our store procedure. We are added successfully. Can we see in here also? Add student information. Okay. Let's we go <coughs> and use here our on-premise data gateway. Let's try opening on-premise data gateway. So here you can be see. You just click on the next. I just enter my email address here and click on the next. So it will ask you to the sign in. Okay, let's sign in. Okay, so gateway is created. Okay, let's restart now. I already created a gateway. That's why I restart. Click on the configure. Okay. Here you will get an option register a new gateway on this computer. Let's click on the next. Let's give the name. Okay, Ravindra Radhav. Click on the key. I'm just giving recovery key here. And you need this name, okay? So that's why I copy this name and just click on the configure. This thing you needed, okay? I think the power app, so be sure it should be copied. So 
my on prem data gateway is connected you can be see and we can be load this and let's you can be see we are in make dot power app okay let's go and click on the more option discover all in the discover all let's scroll it down you can be see the gateways this option just simply click on the gateways we will see the active gateway available okay so this is ravindra dadu that is our we just recently created gateway is active okay if it is not seen you just have to click on new gateway and then you have to register your gateway okay for so gateway is already present okay let's we go then we go to the connection okay we need to create a connection first before accessing the power so let's we go to the connection okay just click on the new connection search here sql we are connecting with sql server okay? so this click on this create authentication type is windows authentication that we are selected let's we give us your port name and database name. from where you can get your port name that at the starting if you know here is your port name is there so just go here is your server name is you can be see okay so just copy this server name okay? and just paste it here okay? database name so database name you know where we will get if i click on the cancel this plus icon this is our database let's okay? copy this i hope it is copy yeah it is copy okay? just remove this square bracket let's give here username so how you do you get username just search type command from Open the command prompt. Okay. Type here who I am. So you will get here. Okay. Just press type the password here. Let's choose the gateway and just click on the create. So our gateway uh, connection is creating. So with our gateway it's taking. some time so let's wait for a couple of seconds great so if you see let us close it down our 16 seconds ago you can be see here okay our gateway is added successfully okay so let's i go to the option create here is we have option create from sql We have option create from it. Let's use this. This is I using first set. Let's select our SQL server. Student information is our table. Okay, let's click. Let's click on the connect. So our data is loading. Our app is creating. Let's we wait for a couple of seconds. Search at the rest. You have the student information. The first name, second name, last name. Based on that, we are sorting. So let's we go and click on this plus icon. So here are three options we are getting: first name, last name, and mark. And here is the submit form option is present. Let's go and check this. It is working or not? Let's we add Ravindra. Now the mark is thirty. And let's click on this. You can be see my record is added in Ravindra. Now you can be see. Let's I go to my SQL table now. Okay. Let's I refresh this. Refresh one more time. Let's I go to the table. So in the table, it is top two hundred rows. For student information, it is top two hundred rows. Okay. My record is still not showing. So let's I refresh one more time. Let's do the hard refresh.
Pas di kulup mau di Okay, so you can be seen now. My new record is added here. Don't drop that one. Let's be try to edit this record. We are editing it, correct? So let's try go to the Rajendra and change mask to the hundred. Okay, this time I got hundred. That's it. Let's click on this plus icon. Sorry, select icon. So my mark is updated to hundred. You can see in your skill table also. If I refresh it. This way it will not work. So you have to close this. You have to minus this. Subtract this. Open this. Just do the hard refresh. Just go to database. Then the Jado. And go to the tables. Student information. The top 200 rows. There you can be see record is updated with 100. That's I want to delete this record. So I simply just click on the delete icon. And my record is deleted successfully. So in this way, you can be seen my record is deleted, it's taking some time, record is deleted successfully. So in this way also, this record will go. Just we have to do the hard refresh in this way. Um, let's do hard refresh. Refresh, refresh, two, two, three times we have to do. Let's close this. Let's uh, open database. Rajendra. Table. Event information. Top 200 rows. So my last 11 record is deleted. So that's all, friends. Okay, in this uh, way you can be perfect. Now, so let's add data source here. Okay, let's add SQL typing here. SQL. Okay. In the SQL. Let's select in the table. Okay, and here you can be see at the right hand side, store procedure is present. Okay, so let's click on store procedure. And simply click on the add student information store process that we are creating. Okay. You can be used, save, use for galleries and tables also. Just simply click on the current. So now you can be see in our left hand side our store procedure is added. Okay. By using this, this store procedure, we are calling our power automate. Sorry, submit our record. Okay. So let's I go. Here we need to add Ravindra Dado store procedure information. Then we need to pass the first name. Okay, so let's have pass first name Ravindra. Okay, then let's do comma last name Dado and this time let's do marks. Okay, 270. Let's I close the curly bracket and then this guy. So simply I use my store procedure name. Okay, and let's uh, click on this add button. So let's see. Record is adding or no. Let's have added the record here. Let's click on the refresh. My record is added here. You can be see Ravindra Dado and full information. You can be see 70, 70 marks. Okay. So in this way, you can be uh, directly run your store procedure within the power. I hope you love this video. Thanks. Have a nice day. If you have any doubt, any questions related to this, you can be asked into a comment box. Okay, and if you love this video, please subscribe. Okay, and show your love. If you want some enhancement, you can be do that into a comment box. I will try to improve myself. Thank you.